to tia ki nga mara matanga e te atu a ki to mātou ki ngi atu hei tia me te whare ka hui ariki me ngā tinana e māwiwi ana tae noa ki a mātou katoa e te ata nei ae nā On Saturday the 15th of July 2023, we lost our nan, Mrs Tohe, Fire 20 and Nanny 20 to some of us. Nan worked at Aldere College from October 2005 to February of this year. You could find Nan on the sideline at the first 15 games, on the side of the Nepal court, in the midst of massive crowds at Kapahaka and so on. Nan was our biggest support, Ao Te Pō, Pō Te Ao. Wherever Nan could tautoko, she would. Aorere quickly became a part of Nan's whānau and throughout her 18 years here, she made that evident. Ko Nan te whakatina natanga o te mana wahine. Nan was the embodiment of a mana wahine. She cared for and supported those she loved with all her might. Said from the depths of our heart, Nan, we love you now and forever. I karanga atu a pōhutu kawa te whetu o matariki ki a Nan. I nga tiro atu mātou ki te rangi o te pō e mōhio ana tātou kei te mata pupure i aia mātou e noho moke moke nei mou. Kwa whetu rangi tia koe e Nan. Nan was called upon by Pō Hutukawa, a star of Matariki. When we look up to the sky, we know that you are watching down upon us, us who remain lonely for you. Nan, you have been added to the, added to the heavens as a star. To our dear friend, our nanny, and to all her whānau, my love for you will never end. E te mā reikura, e te whaia o ngā mokopuna katoa, e nan, he aroha, he aroha mutu ngā kore mou. Ngā whakamoe mi Fuck off it, I hate you. 
Kia ora na and welcome back to Arutahi TV. My name is Michaela. My name is Ashley and, and we'll, we'll be, be your host, host for today. To start off, happy Kukana Language Week, everybody. Yes, happy Kukana Language Week. Talking about Kukana Language Week, do you have any favourite foods in mind? Mm, I would definitely say, I'm plastic, but I'm definitely going to say minus. Minus, oh, you know, like that touch of pink. You yeah, know. it's giving Barbie. It's giving Barbie, yeah. like me. Anyways, um, I like Puka Puka Donuts. Those are like uh, one yes, of my favourites. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. At the Saturday market? Yes, yeah. always fresh. You already know. Period. Along with that, just like the last episode, you guys can get onto Slido and use the QR code hashtag autotahi13 so that you as the audience can also be involved with us. Yes. You can also send through words of encouragement, but please don't say anything stupid. Yes, as for final face-off, in order of our challenges, we'll be physical, we'll move on to quiz, and then finally, our food challenge. Let's see what's coming up on today's episode. Coming up on Arotahi TV. Inky Pinky Ponky. Let's see what our year 12 drama class got up to at Mangere Arts Centre last week, Friday. Sports recap. Our basketball teams played at Bruce Pullman. Let's see how they did. Fano face-off. Let's see which Fano is the best of them all. So last term, we had the great pleasure of celebrating Pride Week. We did a bunch of events and everyone got the opportunity to express themselves. Yes, I really enjoyed Pride Week last term. It was a very inclusive and diverse week for everybody um, from all rainbow communities. And let's see more about that in our next segment. Hi guys, my name is Hayley, I'm a wacker and I'm from Prow Productions. We like to do whacking and keep it alive. <laughs> um, hi, my name is Samir. I'm the student leader of Pride Week. What does Pride mean to you? Um, to me, Pride means a celebration of diverse identities and experiences within the rainbow community. Pride to me means acceptance, it means community, it means unity, um, it means expression. It means judge-free zone, um, all those words. It's really just diversity, um, learning to appreciate people for their um, diverse backgrounds, uh, learning to appreciate people for who they are and yeah, um, encouraging other people to do the same. How do you feel about Pride being celebrated in our school? Um, I think it's great that we're celebrating Pride in our school because it encourages students and staff to show their support for the rainbow community. How would you celebrate Pride? Me as an over 20 year old. <laughs> um, there was a ball on Friday, so I went to that ball. Uh, nice. Vogue ball, yeah, Vogue was really nice and I love going to drag shows. Um, yeah, drag shows, balls. And if you can't do that, maybe just chuck on some RuPaul Drag Race. That's always fun, yeah, exactly. I celebrate Pride by um, supporting my fellow um, peers, you know. I support you, um, you know, I go, oh, I attend, I hold, um, I held a Vogue workshop not that long ago yesterday. And I think that's a way of showing my appreciation for the community coming out you know doing some free work um well this year i'm celebrating with the various activities that we had in our school what is whacking in your words awesome so whacking is a personal relationship and expression of the music deep <laughs> and um how long have you been a dancer oh i so i started in something called bring it on which is maybe mega schools now. Um, so I started back then. So maybe when I was like 14, 15, 15. 15. Um, Bogey, in my own words, is a sort of um, language, if you suppose, um, to describe it. It's, it's, it's a dance. Yes, it's a dance, but it does um, entail like different um, stories. It, it tells um, a story. So when you're performing with your hands like this, you know, you're always telling a story. You're telling. Um, different movements, you're holding different poses. So Vogue to me is um, yeah, basically telling the story, yeah. Well, I hope that you are celebrating Pride and it helps you be yourself and celebrate who you are. Be who you are. This guy's working into Yeah, that's all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you would have been...
reversing Manu, Green Cheetah. Anyways, let's introduce our first team. And our first team is Puke, and our first contestant from Puke is... And our second contestant... And these are our contestants for Puke. Everyone give them a round of applause. Is it actually Puke? Crowd there, big crowd here. Anyways, let's introduce our second team, which is Gene Baden. And our first contestant for Gene Baden is... Oh, um, who's there's someone else hiding in the back? Who is that? Uh, oh my gosh, look at this team. We've got a stacked team here from Puke. And we got two more here from G Baden hiding behind the curtain. Who are you? My name is Oh my gosh, good to know. Next. Well, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, everyone give them a round of applause. Clap for yourselves. So we're going to move on to our physical challenge, which is build your Lego. So basically, you guys are going to be given Lego pieces in front of you to build an object that you and the audience get to choose from. So go into Slido, enter the code Arutahi13, and um, choose which object you would like our team here to build. So how do you feel about um, going into um, Final Fantasy? Pretty excited. Period. And how about you guys? How do you feel? Anyways, let's begin with our Legos, if we could get our Lego pieces in today. And how's everyone feeling? Go on to Slido and you can um, enter how are you feeling today, if you're feeling good, if you're feeling bad, if you're feeling tired like me. Enter it down, it'll pop down on the screen today. Oh, looks like we've got our Legos here, we've got our Legos here. Just, you know, distribute it here. Get some more Lego pieces over here, you know. Uh, you guys can just have... Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Sorry, just got some. Yeah. Better get your creative hats on. I'll give more pieces to Puke because, you know, the best team ever. If I could just um, get that object one more time. So everyone, please um, still enter your... Um, everyone, please still enter your um, results and... Um, Slider and I just got the results and you guys will be having to build a plane. Wow, a plane. Looks like uh, Gene Baden. Don't know if you guys will be able to build a plane out of that. But anyways, let's, um, let's start. You guys have two minutes on the clock and I'll count you down in five, four, three, two, one and build. Wow, um, excuse me, sorry, uh, please leave that. Um, that's just out of bounds. Uh, you have got to use the ones on your table, sorry. Yes, build a plane. As you can tell, we got some cheetahs over here in Gene Baden. Clearly, some cheetahs. Uh, Gene Baden is full of cheetahs. Um, here in Puke, oh my gosh, I can see some creativity here coming from Letta and um, his friend here. Forgot his name, but it's okay. It is uh, John. John, that is John. Wow, I see some creative. Um... So, what are you trying to build here? Uh, the middle. The middle, oh wow. Yes. Yeah, not looking promising at all. Anyways, over here in Puke. Wow, I can see some beautiful wings here compared to Jean Baden over there. Um, how do you feel about going into, uh, are you guys confident in winning today's um, Mano Face Off? Oh, well, we haven't lost. So. Oh, period, period. Y'all heard that, guys. Five years in a row and still going. So you guys got one more minute, guys. One more minute on the clock. Build, build, build. Might need some water down here. Getting a bit hot in it. Ooh, are you sure it's the Legos or is it just you? Oh, who knows? Who really knows? We got some time on the clock. I think it's roughly around 30 seconds. Sorry, what was that? 30 seconds, you guys got 30 seconds on the clock. 30 seconds, build, build, build. Oh, wow, we got some creative pieces here. Yes, so everybody in the audience, go onto Slido and vote which one um, which one is gonna win. So we got six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Hands off your creations, hands off your creations and put them on the table. Wow, we got some really creative um, creations here. So the audience go onto slider and choose um, which team here has the most creative um, planes out of them all. Um, so go onto slider, Adotahi13 as the code and choose um, either Puke or Jean Baden. That looks like a house <laughs> Okay. No, it's a fireway. What do you mean? Oh, wow. Wow. Hey, guys, guys, guys. Save it for later. Save it for later. Anyways, just for now, we're going to be moving to news with Raheo. Kia ora and welcome back to Arutahi News. I'm your host, Raheo Khan. New Zealand has just been disqualified from the FIFA Women's World Cup after losing 0-0 no -no to Switzerland. It is quite disappointing as we were the ones hosting the World Cup, but it seems we will not be making it to the finals. Anyways, Barbie and Oppenheimer have been taking over cinemas all over the world, and it seems that everyone has forgotten the existence of every other movie in the world. But to be honest, Insidious the Red Door was pretty disappointing in my opinion. Spookers has just reopened, and it's apparently more frightening than ever, so if you want to ruin your friends' lives, drag them down there. Anyways, in Aurelia College, it is Cook Island Language Week, a week where we celebrate the beautiful language of the Cook Islands. So join us this Friday for amazing celebrations, food, and just all-around fun. But you can join me next episode for the New Zealand Blood Drive, where students over 16 years of age can donate blood to save three lives in need. That's all from me today, and thank you for joining me. Sorry about that, people. We had some technical difficulties and they did me wrong and I wasn't mic'd up. Not my fault, but it's okay. Anyway, continuing from where we left off, to answer a question, you'll say or yell your team name. We will not be doing barking anymore. Now, let's get started. Question number one. Who is the current president of the United States of America? Joe Biden. Yes, that is correct. Question number two. Name five continents. David. Yes. South America, North America, uh, Africa, Europe, and Asia. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Come on, Puke. <laughs> What's going on here? Name all members of Destiny's Child. Okay. Yes. Um, Michelle. Yes. And Kelly. Yes. So oh, finally. I lost hope in you guys for a second there. What is thalassophobia a fear of? JB. Yes. Like Oh, the ocean and water. It's like big bodies of water. Uh, yes, yes, that is correct, that is correct. <laughs> Next question. Which singer is known for their hit Ice Ice Baby? Oh, okay. Vanilla Ice. Yes, that is correct. Bonus points if you can sing the song. JB. Oh, yes. Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Oh, oh. Can we get half point each? No, we don't oh. have one. Oh, oh okay, okay. No yeah. Next question. What is the leading source of salmonella poisoning? Okay. Yes. Chicken. Yes, that is correct. Please don't be eating your chicken raw and unseasoned people. <laughs> Next question. What is the currency of Japan? Okay. Yes. Oh, oh yes. not the... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. She got it. She yeah. got it. She redeemed herself. She got it, guys. Next question. I came up with this question myself, guys, so just 
give it to me. Oh, I lost the question. Okay, I got it again. The phrase Barbenheimer consists of which two films? JB, yes. Barbie and Oppenheimer. Yes, that is correct. Have you seen any of those yet? Barbie, yes, Barbie. Is it good? Yeah, good. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen both of the Oh, double points. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, 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 hey, 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 I'm the host. Be quiet. Name the five colors of the Olympic rings. JB. Yes. Red, blue, yellow, green, black. Yes, that is correct. Wow, okay. <laughs> Next question. Name Harry Potter's two best friends. Cookie. Yes. Hermione and Ron. Yes. Bonus points if you can get the last names. Hermione Granger. <laughs> Ron Weasley. Yes, 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 yes. There's actually no bonus points, but it's more fun that way, you know? Next question. Elon Musk is the CEO of which global automotive brand? Okay. Yes. Tesla. Yes, correct. Next question. And if you can sing it, I will, I don't know, I'll give you a lollipop or something. What is the first line of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody? Come on now, this is a classic. Come on, oh, <laughs> oh, hey, 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 no, no stereo around here. Anyone know the answer? Come on, Queen. Hey, hey, no cheating, no cheating. <laughs> we got cheating, we got cheating from Puke. Oh, wow. You said she was in Puke. <laughs> Ready? Okay, um, I will start you, I will give you the beat. No, I'll just give you the first line and you can... Just quickly, just finish it off. Is this the real life? Can you finish it off? I, I am flabbergasted. Okay, never mind. You both lose a point. Anyway, next question. Natasha Romanoff is the real name of which superhero? JB. Yes. You didn't even let her finish. Yes, but you, yeah, you didn't let me finish. Yeah, but I got it before the but Yeah, but you didn't let me finish. finish. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Period. Oh. But you still get the point, because yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you still got the point. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, next question. Which instrument does Lisa Simpson okay. play? Yes. Saxophone. Yes, correct. And I will f our final question of our final face-off quiz. Complete the Spice Girls lyric. If you want to be my blank, you gotta get with my blank. JB. Oh, wow, you interrupted me again. You interrupted me again, but okay. I will give it to you. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Damn. That is correct. Woo! Okay. Okay, hey, quiet. This just in the results. Gene Baden has won this round. Congratulations to Gene Baden. They're catching up. Anyway, be quiet. I need to I need to do my thing, guys. Keep interrupting me. I'll have to deduct points from you. Anyway, congratulations once again. We will now go and we will now go ahead and take a look at our level 2 drama class starring in Inky Pinky Ponky. And today we are here with the Inky Pinky Ponky cast. What is your name? My name is Levi and I'm playing Lisa. Um, my name is Mercedes Pritchard and I play Mose for Inky Pinky Ponky. Uh, David, I uh, play Dimitri. Hi, my name is Langiola Wasi and I play the role of Brittany in the play Inky Pinky Ponky. <laughs> so Levi, please tell us what is one of your favorite moments so far when working with the cast? Um, my favorite moments would have to be just the dedication and the work that we've all put in through, like some of us having to miss out our sports priorities and just putting us above all. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, I reckon it was um, our bonding. I reckon each day we got closer with each other and we became more confident. So tell me, who is the hardest member to work with in the cast? Uh, the hardest member to work with? Yeah. Mostly. And why do you say that? Because, like, it's just awkward. Yeah, it's just really awkward with the different masculinities. Yeah, I'll say the boys. Why? Did you see that? Like, they walked, like, literally right behind us. Sometimes they never listen, but, yeah. Probably, um, probably Levi. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. Um, just sort of the storyline in this, um, in this play. It's kind of weird to interact with him properly. Yeah. yeah. 
And lastly, what is your favorite thing about your character? My favorite thing is that it's, um, she is true to herself. She's true to everyone else. She knows her self-worth, but she also gets lost a bit. But then she comes back, bounces back, and she's just the, your normal sassy bit person. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind, but he doesn't really show it that much. They didn't really see his personality that much into the play, and I get to experience that. So yeah, that um, he reflects my 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 real self. Yo. <laughs> I love how Brittany is so like the opposite of who I really am in real life. She's a more of like an outgoing character, whereas I'm just very introverted and just very self. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> Kia ora guys and welcome back. Today we're here for the level two drama classes in Pinky Ponky. Today we have Mrs. Lemanu. Okay, Miss. What made you choose to do Inky Pinky Ponky? Uh, we chose to do Inky Pinky Ponky initially because usually it is part of an NC assessment standard. Um, and it was just great timing with um, Inky Pinky Ponky, the TV series coming out at the same time, which was released last week. Um, and we just love the themes that we explore in Inky Pinky Ponky, and that's why we wanted to do it. Were there any moments where you didn't want to produce this anymore? Like oh, most definitely. Most definitely. I am eight months pregnant, and I just do not have the patience at this point. <laughs> But I'm very happy that we, we are here and we've arrived um, and the kids are excited to do this. So, no, I'm really happy that we're doing it. How do you think the students are going to do on the night? I think they're going to do amazing and they're really going to pull it off. The, these this, this particular cohort of students are one of the most talented I've ever come across in my years at Aurere. Period, Levi, you ate that up. Almost as good as me. Anyways, we'll start off with our um, final round of final face-off, which is a food challenge. So basically, um, for this um, final round of final face-off is Chubby Cheeks. Our game is called Chubby Cheeks, and we're joined with... Um, Millie. And... And... Litter. And basically, we're going to start... Um, so basically, the rules of this game is you guys have one minute to stuff your mouths with as many marshmallows as you can, but, you, but the... Um, the only um, ick with this game is that you can only use one hand. So only marshmallow, one marshmallow at a time and stuff your mouth with as many marshmallows as you can under one minute, under one minute. And I'll count you guys down in five, four, three, two, one. Stuff your mouths. Wow, we got some hungry Samoan and Tongans here. Wow, look like you guys are used to this. Oh, we got some, we got some pro stuffing here from Letta. Looks like you're used to this, eh, aren't you? Yeah, we've got some awesome stuffing here from Mele. No, you gotta keep going, you gotta keep going. No, if you spit it out, it's an automatic, you guys lose. Come on, come on, do it for your team, do it for your team. Stuff it, stuff it, stuff it. Stuff your mouths, keep going, keep going. You guys got around like 30 seconds left. Come on, guys. Keep going, keep going. Come on, guys. 
Hey, no swallowing. No swallowing. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. You guys got 20 seconds. Keep going. Stop. 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 Go, Mele. Go, Mele. Go, let up. No, no, no. No, 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 you can't spew, you can't spew, you can't. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're done, we're done, we're done. Everyone, hands off your marshmallows. Could I grab everyone in? Everyone in the frame. Everyone in the frame. Everyone in the frame. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Here's your bin, here's your bin. Oh, she ate them all. Wow, oh, wow. Oh, yikes. Anyways, can I have Michaela back in here? Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, guys, excuse me. Guys. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, Mom, come on now. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. So, so that was basically all that is done for our series of Final Face Off. Um, and yeah, I'll hand it over to Michaela to announce the results. Oh, well, so as you know, Puke put up a really good fight, but unfortunately, JB won all three challenges, so they didn't fight hard enough. So, well, you, yeah, whatever. Anyway, how do you guys feel about losing? <laughs> no, oh, violence. no violence. No violence. No violence. Out of it, does not promote here. violence. How do you guys feel about winning though? Oh, amazing. Good, good, good. Wow. Yeah, Pro yeah, stuffing yeah. here from Millie. Yeah, yeah. Great Pro stuffer. stuffing. Great stuffer. Yeah. Whoa, even more stuffers over here. Whoa. Oh, hey. PG, PG. Whoa. Okay. As you all know, JB will now. Well, next episode, they'll be going up against Manu in the finals of Fano Face Off. And also, we are releasing a Google form that will be sent out after this episode. So if you guys just want to suggest challenges, give us some feedback, and yeah. Yes, definitely. Wow. That's it. That was such an eventful episode. Yes, it what was, would you it say? Was. What was your favorite part? I think my favorite part was, hey, 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 no food fight yeah. in here. We don't waste food here. Yeah. But this was my favorite challenge by oh, far. Yeah. I think I would have done way better than them, but oh, it's okay. True, true. I'm a pro stuffer as well. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, okay. Pro stuffers? Yes. Got a lot of pro stuffers around yes, here. Wow. Do. Chubby Cheeks was a Chubby cheeks. good challenge. Great idea. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll go ahead. Whoa. Be quiet on the set, please. Anyway, we'll go ahead and let you guys go and watch our sports recap. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Catch us next time on Arutahi. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>